Hey everyone, Justin here from High Level How To, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to sell a digital download file using High Level. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm inside my High Level account, inside one of my sub accounts here, and the very first thing you need to do in order to sell a digital download file is you actually need to set up your product. So from your dashboard here, go ahead and click on the Payments tab in the left. So I'm gonna click on that. And that's gonna open up this entire payments world. Okay, we're not gonna go through every single one of these sections. The very first thing that I would do before setting up your product is make sure that your Stripe account is connected. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this video, but once you hit connect Stripe, just follow the prompts and it makes it very simple to connect your Stripe account. That way, whenever someone does purchase from you, they know where to send the money, okay? But what we're gonna do is assuming you've already done that, go ahead and click on products on the far right, okay? And I've already set up a digital file here as an example, but the way that you do that is just click the create product button in the top right, and that's gonna open up this create product form, okay? So go ahead and give your product a form. So I'll go ahead and do this digital download example, give it a description, and then under product type, you can tell it what type of product this is, and they actually have a an option to select digital goods. So I select that. You can also upload a product file image. So this would be something that's gonna show up in the actual system for, hey, what does this product actually look like? So usually this would be like a book cover if it's a digital download book or an example of the, the download file that you're gonna be selling. There's also some additional options that you can do where you can add a descriptor that's gonna show up on the credit card statement that your customer uses or customer sees whenever they purchase. And then you can set the pricing information down here. So pricing name, so this would just be any type of the way that you wanna describe what the pricing is, so like a one-time download. You can select, is this a recurring payment? Is it an actual one-time payment? And then you, you set the price right here in the amount. So let's say you wanted to sell it for $19. Under this, there's also additional stuff so you can describe the price. If you wanna attach a membership to this product offering, so for example, you may say, hey, whenever you buy my digital download book, you also get access to my membership site, something like that. You can connect that by clicking this and selecting which product they get, product or products they get access to whenever they purchase this. So once you create that product, it's gonna now be showing up inside of your products tab, which you can see here. The next step is we need to actually put this on your website so people can go somewhere and actually purchase it. Okay, so in order to do that, we are gonna to go to, surprise, surprise, your sites tab, and you can sell it on a funnel page if you want. In this example, I'm gonna be selling it on a website page. So I'm gonna click here, let's say you're a leadership and career coach, and so the book you're selling is related to that. And you can create a whole new page if you want to have a specific page to sell the product, in this example, I'm just gonna be selling it directly from the homepage. So go ahead and click on or create the page that you wanna sell it from and open that up. So I've got over here. So once you open up the page or create the page that you wanna sell your product from, we actually have to add the mechanism by which to do that. So in my example on this homepage, I just created a section here by going to section, add a section, brought this in, added in a couple different, some text here, a two column section where I've got a picture of my digital download book here, description of it here, I added a little price. Then I also added a button here. Now, this is, you can make this look however you want. It doesn't need to look exactly like this. This is purely from a design standpoint, how we're gonna do it. The most important part is you need to give your customers a way to access the, the actual order form. Okay, and the way that I'm doing that in this example, and I would recommend that you at least try this, is, this button down here, when I click on it and I go down to the bottom, the button action is I'm going to have it open the pop-up on the page here. So they can literally just click this button and put in their order information right all from this page. If you have another page that you're actually want to embed the order form on, you can do that as well. You would just change this to be a website URL or a specific page that you want to go to. Whatever works for you, whatever your, your style is, Again, I'm just gonna do it from the pop-up. So I'm gonna set mine to open the pop-up. And in order to edit my pop-up, in the top up here, you just click this little pop-up button and it's gonna bring open the pop-up and what it looks like right now. So I've already installed or embedded the order form, but I'm gonna delete that just so I can show you how to do that. So let's say it, there's, when you open up a blank pop-up, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So I'm gonna click add a row. I'm gonna do a single column row. And then the element that you wanna add if you scroll down, is one of the order elements here. So you can do a two-step, but because I'm already using a pop-up, I'm just gonna do a single step, one-step order here. And whenever I click that, it's gonna drop in this order form 
And this order form is going to look the same on pretty much every page from this perspective. Okay. Now you can make some changes to what this looks like by clicking on the advanced tab. So make sure you click onto the order form, make sure it says one step order up here and then click advanced. You can edit all of the text and other elements of what this form looks like. Uh, so if there's some of the language on here, doesn't make sense for you, or you only want to collect certain bits of information, you can turn things on and off, which is pretty helpful. Once you have that the way you want it, go ahead and click save. Okay, so at this point, what we've done is we've created a section on our website. And again, my example is just on the homepage. I've added a picture of the book. I've added some text. I've added a button. This button opens up the pop-up. The pop-up has the order form on it. So I'm gonna edit the text of this button to say buy now. So if you click on the button, make sure on the general tab, scroll down, you can actually edit what this button says. So I'm just gonna click buy now. And then you can even add some little subtext. I'll just say $19 right there, okay? so. And if you don't like it looking scrunched like that, you can actually edit the um, spacing of it by going over to advanced and change it from fluid to full width. So let's do that. Nice big green button. You can't miss it. Okay. So now I'm going to hit save. And what this does so far is on my website, it's ready to be connected to the product, but we have not yet connected the order form to a product. And this is what can mess people up. So pay very close attention to this step because this step isn't necessarily intuitive. So I'm going to back out of this page it's going to take me into the website viewer. I'm going to see all of my pages here. Okay. So what I want to do is because I'm selling my product from the home page. So again, if you've created another page where you're selling it, you would do it on that page, click the top three dots here, and then click on the products option from the drop down. That's going to take you into this section here, which is hard to find if you don't know where to look for it. And you want to click add a product. Okay. And once you do this, just find your product. So I'm going to click here. The only product I have is called the digital file. It's the digital download. You can give it a name. You can override the, what is displayed on the price if you want to, and then click save. So now that I've added a product to this page and this page has an order form on it, high level automatically connects that order form to this product. And we can see that if we preview or open this page, which I have over here, let me just refresh. After I refresh the page, I'm going to scroll down to my section. So this is the section I created with my buy now button. When I click this, it should open up my pop-up. When I scroll down, you can see that they have edited the item on the order form to be the product I created. Now in this example, I named my product digital download, but you would obviously see whatever you named your product. And then the price that I gave it, which is $19 there. And as I fill this out, this isn't connected to Stripe, so it's not going to give me the ability to actually um, submit payment here. This is how your customer would purchase. Okay, so at this point, what you've done is you've created a digital product. On your website, you've created a space where someone can learn about your product. They can click the buy button and they can fill out an, a, the, the order form. And then the final step is that you need to make sure that you deliver the digital product to your customer. Okay, so in order to do that, you need to click on the automations tab and we need to set up an automation that when someone uses this order form to purchase the digital download, we need to send them the digital download via email. Okay. So if I click on automations, I actually already have a draft template here, but you won't see this unless you've created this in the past. So you want to click on create workflow. I would recommend clicking just start from scratch and then click create new workflow. Okay. When you do that, it's going to open up a blank page where you're not going to see any of this stuff here. You're going to need to add a workflow trigger. Okay. So when you click that, you need to scroll down and find, or what I would probably do is just search for form and the type of form you're looking for is an order form submission. So click on order form submission. And then I would go ahead and change the name of this to digital download and then whatever the name of your digital download is just so that you understand what you're looking at and then this is a very important step is you need to create a filter for what digital download you want to trigger this so the first filter it's going to ask you for is is it on a funnel page or a website and the answer is yes because we just put it up on my website and the website that i used was the leadership and career coach website so you'll see all the different websites and funnel options you have there so just find the one that you put it on and then the second filter you want to do, and this is especially helpful if you've got multiple products for sale across the website, you want to filter down one more step, which is I only want to send this specific email on the page 
that is home. And that's because the product I'm selling is on my homepage inside of this website, right? So if I put another product on a different page, I could set up a different workflow. If you don't do this and you've got multiple products across a website or funnel, then this email that you're about to create will send every single time any of those products gets purchased and you probably don't want to do that. Okay. So you want to make sure that you filter it's on this website. This is the specific page that I want to look at. And once I do that, click save trigger. And I've already done that, which is here. So you can see that that's already set up. So that's the trigger. So that's going to start this automation. And then you need to click the add button right here and you want to click send email. Now I've already clicked that. So that's why you're seeing this email option here. So once someone purchases from that website on that specific page, which the only product on that page is the $19 digital download, then this email is going to get sent. So you want to go ahead and fill this out. So whatever your name is, uh, your email address, a subject line, which I recommend keeping simple. Here's your digital download. And then you can write your email right here. So this is just some generic text. You can bring in the merge field, which is great. And then you want to click add attachment. So this is where you would add your digital download. So here's just an example. I'm going to attach it. And you can see here that the digital download PDF book is now attached to this email. You can then test the email if you want, make sure that you like the way it looks when you receive it, make sure that the digital download is the right digital download, make sure everything's working. Once you've got all that, click save action. And then the final step is, well, if you haven't already, definitely name your workflow up here. That way you know what you're looking at. The final step is you want to hit publish right here. Okay. So make sure that's on and then click save. And what this is going to do now is you've set everything up for this to go live. So if I were to go back to the website here and you were to come down here, click buy now, fill out the form, hit submit. What's going to happen is your customer, you will receive payment, assuming you've set up your Stripe and your customer is going to receive that email that you just created that's going to have the attachment of the PDF download, the digital download file that they are looking for. So that is how to sell a digital download file using high level. I hope you found this helpful. If you don't already have a high level account, you can go to ghltrial.com and that will give you a free trial to use and test out high level. Definitely recommend you do that, especially as you're watching our videos, because it makes it even easier to learn and to understand how the system works. There is a learning curve with high level, but there's a learning curve with any system that you're using. High level makes it very simple to connect everything that you're doing into one system and it all begins to talk to one another. So I hope you found this helpful. I will see you next time.